huge fan thank of you and your work. Thank you for taking thank the time. You. Oh, thank you so much for, uh, for, you know, doing, doing the interview. Nerds of Color have like been around, like, uh, I've, I've been chatting to you guys since like I began my career and I feel like you've always been like champions of, you know, of really cool people doing really cool stuff. So like, yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Oh my gosh. You're going to make me cry. Thank you. <laughs> well, we love you and we love your work. And I, I was so thrilled to see you in this film and I loved your character. I loved your performance. Thank you. Awesome. And I want to just get started by asking you, were you a fan of the films before joining the franchise? And what attracted you to this role specifically? It's a fun role. <laughs> it is a really fun role. Yeah, I was a huge fan. You know, um, uh, my my housemate, uh, Kate and I, she's like the biggest like cheesy Christmas movie fan and like sucked me into them. And I mean, look, the, the in, like, you know, before I joined the franchise, the in was always like, what? You mean we get more than one Vanessa Hudgens? Like how much, how, how much bang for your buck can you, can, can you get in the movie? You know? Uh, yeah. I, you know, I was, I was really, bad. I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Vanessa. So it was always, uh, that, that was a huge draw card, you know, being able to work with, uh, with, with people um, who you've admired, you know, so much um before that that was that was always a huge draw card um and and the role is is fun you know Peter, peter's a really suave cool character you know he worked for a uh, worked for interpol and he's got all these like crazy skills um the entrapment sort of uh laser um high uh, scene like I mean, that was just like give me yeah i, I want to do that i want to do that <laughs> That scene was awesome. Oh my gosh. It came out so good. <laughs> yeah. And you, you kind of mentioned this, but everyone loves a good holiday rom-com. What, what is your favorite aspect of the genre? What, what do you enjoy about it? Um, you know, I I think I think my favorite thing as as a viewer is just um gosh, it's it's that permission, it's the unashamed joy you know, that, that you just like forget all your worries, all your cares, and uh, you're just allowed to, you know, really, um, really feel the, the, the spirit of Christmas. I don't know, it's, it's, it's cheesy, it's cheesy, but, 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 that, but that's what it is, you know, it's, um, it's, it's really nice to be able to do that, especially, especially in, you know, when, when everyone's going through some really hard times at the moment. Yeah, just, just being able to, to switch off and allow yourself to, to disappear into, a, <laughs> into the Christmas yeah. spirit. You obviously are on this mission to get this star back, as we saw in the trailer. Um, how much fun was that storyline to do? Because it was so fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. You know, I mean, I think one of the best things about our um, about our jobs as actors is is learning new skills and getting to do things that you don't normally get to do in in real life. And um, yeah, like like we got to work with some amazing um, dancers and choreographers to like figure out how we were going to tackle that that heist scene and uh you know Vanessa and I spent spent weeks just in in a in a dance studio like like getting all you know limber and weird and, uh you know and that's that's just one of the things that yeah you'll you'll never really get to do <laughs> to do again so uh yeah no it was really cool aspect is not always common in Christmas movies either it's it worked really well <laughs> no you know and I think that's what I really like about this movie it's not like other Christmas movies it, yes. I love that it just it leans into genre and it leans into um the aspect of like the heist the adventure um but it's also got like a lot of heart to it as well you know it's it's um I think that the that beyond all of the um the really sort of the the, the big laughs and all of the romance there's a lot of um real heart to the characters and 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 the relationships especially you know between um uh Vanessa's character and and, and her mom oh, Vanessa's character which one Fiona, Fiona <laughs> yeah. and her mom. <laughs> one two or three all of them are yeah, perfect yeah. <laughs> yeah you know I, and I, I think those, those, those themes of like family and 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 forgiveness I think that that's what what really anchors um, a lot of the hijinks in the movie you know it, it, it does it does have a real emotional heart to it and, and and you need that yeah obviously the romance we I have to ask you about it without giving too much away what can you tease about Fiona and Peter's dynamic it was so I loved it in the trailer and I loved it even more in the movie <laughs> 
Thanks. Yeah, look, I mean, without giving too much away, uh, they've got history. Um, I, you know, I love in the second film that Fiona's energy, she just comes in like a tornado, like this, like this whirlwind. Um, and, and, and she's so, so larger than life. And, and I think that that character really, um, really captured like so, so many people, you know, the, the, the audience reactions to, to her were, were huge. And uh, yeah, so I think, you know, exploring her background, exploring her history um, in this film is really cool. And so, yeah, she and Peter have, have a lot of history together um, and they haven't seen each other for a little while. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to put this <laughs> without, you know, without the spoilers, but uh, yeah, they haven't seen each other for a while, but, but, but she needs him for like that one last job. Uh, yeah. I was watching the movie, this question came to mind and I always like to ask a fun little creative question, but you've, you've done some great roles. Um, and I want to ask you if you could switch places with any of your characters, which would it be and why? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, okay. I love that question. Um, oh, that's a really good one. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Look, I, I I always think like it'd be there, there's pros and cons to everything, right? You know, I mean, the first yeah. thing on the top of my head is uh is Jingham, Prince Jingham in in Marco Polo. Yeah. But who doesn't want to be a prince? But then, yeah. I mean, I don't want to go to war and risk dying. You know that ah, I, I I don't know if I could if I if I could do that. Um. No. Look. Okay. You know. No. I'm I'm, I'm going to say Peter because look at him. He's, he's the guy's got a castle, a Ferrari. Yeah uh a beautiful girl like he's he's got a great life he's got a great life i'm gonna, I'm gonna choose peter he's yeah international man of mystery peter, peter maxwell for me <laughs> can't get better than that <laughs> and this film is bound to get anyone who watches in the holiday spirit but i want to ask you what is one thing anything at all that gets you in the holiday spirit okay uh you know i i i grew up in um i grew up in the tropics like i was, I was born in malaysia I, I grew up in papua new guinea and like in in north queensland and australia like really hot tropical countries and later on in my life i've always tried to like go to cold places for christmas i love christmas in new york i love seeing snow uh you know i mean like here here in australia like christmas we're at, like we, we get temperatures in the 90s kind of kind of thing yeah yeah yeah. yeah 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 so i i don't know i i, I love i love white christmases I, I love being able to go somewhere where it's not yeah yeah that's fun and also you know this this cast was so fun awesome together i imagine filming yeah. it was even more fun do you have a favorite memory when you look back yeah you know we um we we were all uh staying in this one hotel because of course you know in COVID times um everything has to be done a little bit differently and so normally you would not have the entire cast and crew staying at the one location mm -hmm. in the one hotel we got to know each other really really well uh <laughs> <laughs> and yeah there were just like lots of nights of everyone hanging out playing pool and 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 like funnily enough weirdly enough cooking together like i i love i love to cook and i love cooking for people so I turned like my little hotel room into a, a makeshift kitchen and I, and I got like a slow cooker and we had like some plug-in hot plates and things. And I went to like Tesco's and bought all these like pots and pans and spices and things. And, <laughs> and we made like, we made a, we made a Christmas roast. Um, we like made a Christmas roast in, in a hotel room. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that yeah, that for, sounds for, like, absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh. <laughs> Rom-com genre is just such a popular one, especially now. What, in your opinion, makes a good rom-com? What does it have to have? Well, you've got to have, uh, I mean, okay, let, let's, let, the, the secret's in the name, isn't it? You've got to have romance. You've got to have com comedy. You've got to have chemistry. You've got yes, to have, yep. um, and you know you've you've got to have fun. I I think I think that's it. You've you've got to have chemistry. You've got to have that that little um that that spark on set. At, at least you know as as far as our job as actors are concerned, if if you're not having the time of your life, 
on set in front of the cameras, then the audience isn't going to either. And I can tell you that that everyone on on this one was having the time of their lives. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell definitely. And what are you most excited for fans to see? I feel like there's so many scenes in this where I just absolutely loved how it came out. What, what are you What are you most excited for? Um, I think I'm. I you know I'm 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 most excited for for fans to see just how much trouble three Vanessa Hudgens in three iconic roles can create in a movie <laughs> <laughs> there's 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 this there's this moment um where set where Sam Palladio's character says uh here we go again yeah. and it just sums up the entire spirit of this movie and the audience's expectations it's like what is going to happen <laughs> yeah what what was that like seeing three vanessas on set in three different what was it like oh it was crazy it was absolutely crazy uh yeah yeah <laughs> it was mind-blowing there you go and you know, I'm a fan of the franchise. I'm a fan of the films. If there is a fourth one, are you down? And what would you like to see Peter up to? Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely down. I want to see uh, Peter and uh, Fiona back in Barbados, uh, where, where it all began for them, you know, where, 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 the, uh, where their romance began. Um, yeah, and you know what? Why not? Let's 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 throw another Vanessa Hudgens role into the mix. Let's let's see what four can do. I know. Is there a challenge that was specific to maybe this role that you have an experience with your other roles? Yeah, I, um, there there was. Uh, I think. Def oh, like I mean I mean definitely uh, it, it was it was a very physical role. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and I've done um, a lot of sort of st stunt work before, but uh, yeah, specifically the high scene was, was was very different, you know, because you not only have to get all the moves right, you not only have yeah. to dodge the lasers, otherwise like, yeah. um, but we're, we're telling a story in that moment as well. And um, we're, we're, we're trying to, to uh, give that, that really simmering heat and um that that kind of relationship between between the two characters all the while the stakes are so very very high you know and and in a way that's almost harder than um being in a battle scene with 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 10 people and you're just swinging swords around um because it's, it's also it's it's very it's very intimate yeah so uh that 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 was definitely that was definitely one yeah you know the promo pics came out and i think you posted this one on your instagram but there is going to be a little dance scene too that your character is involved in. Yep. We got to yep. look at that. What was that like? <laughs> we did a little salsa. Yeah, again, you know, look, uh, it was it was so cool. Um, I've done like a little bit of dancing uh, before, but uh, you know, it's not not like this. And being able to work with um, some incredible choreographers, Carolyn Pope was our wonderful, wonderful movement coach and choreographer on the film. And, and she brought over um, a wonderful team, some of the best in, in Europe to teach us these like cool little moves. So now I've just got some extra party tricks to whip out. Love it, love it. And, you know, lastly, I wanna give you the chance to create your own tagline or phrase to describe the film, to sort of tease it for fans. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to fall back on. I'm going to fall back on on Prince Edward's line. It's it's here we go again. There we go. <laughs> it's all the thing. It's all the things that you love about the last movies and more. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It is. It is. Thank you so much, Remy, for taking the time. It was such a pleasure, and I hope to speak with you again very soon. Congrats on the project. Yeah. Thanks so much.